Okay guys, in this video tutorial we will be learning what is the fate of a viral infection. Now if I talk about the fate of viral infection in the whole human body, there can be several different round of effect and symptoms and all these things. But I am not going to talk about those. I am going to talk about the fate of viral infection in a cellular level, right? So in cell actually. So we will be talking about, so let me write, fate of, fate of virus viral infection or virus infection whatever okay fate of the viral infection now uh, there are a uh, four uh, type of uh, fate that of uh, viral infection can be and depending upon the type of virus that are uh, infecting us and uh, the type of their release and their replication scheme okay so it varies depending upon these factors okay so the first type of uh, fate is Abortive viral infection. Abortive viral infection. Okay. Now in this abortive viral infection, viral particles or virus particles enter inside the host cell via the normal process of entry. So if I draw, let's say this is the cell, this is the host cell. Inside the host cell, a virus particle enters and virus particle along with its nucleic acid materials enters but uh, don't think this as a nucleus so let me draw the nucleus differently otherwise you okay like that okay this is the virus particle this is the virus okay now this is the virus particle inside and what they're doing though they are entering inside the cell but they are not providing or they are not producing any progeny virus so in this case of abortive uh, viral infection no uh, progeny virus, no progeny virus uh, is developed. Okay, no progeny virus is developed in this case. Okay, so as there is no progeny virus, uh, the infection cannot be spread. So no infection in that case. So it's it's no infection. We can't say infection. So no disease, no visible disease. No visible symptoms can be there most of the time. Sometimes there are symptoms after a long period of infection. Now, infection means your cell is infected. That means uh, the particle or viral particle or bacterial in all kind of infection. It means uh, the invader is inside your host cell. So they are invading your own system somehow. Right? So here the virus is inside the host cell. So it is definitely the infection, but infection does not mean that all time it is developing into disease, right? That is a uh, very important concept about medical microbiology that infection does not mean disease. Infection means your uh, cell or your host, your body is kind of hijacked by some other pathogens like virus or bacteria, but it is uh, not, it can uh, show any disease, it cannot show up into any disease. So in this case, it is not showing up uh, to any disease. Right, so it's a no visible infection, so that's why it's called the abortive viral infection, right? Because the protein synthesis can be halted and all these things can be halted for that reason. Okay, now the second type of uh, the second type of a fate for the cell can be it can be productive viral infection. So let me write productive productive uh, viral infection. Now in the productive viral infection, as the term suggests this will produce the viral infection right that's why the term comes as productive now in this case let me draw it in this case in this direction so this is the host cell again inside the host cell the nucleus and all the cellular machineries are there but say this is this is a virus particle and sorry small this is the virus particle and inside it its genetic material is there now this virus particle will soon produce many more a progeny virus particles many more progeny viruses so here what we can see more and more progeny viruses are being developed inside so as more and more progeny viruses are developed in this case it will finally develop into a very mature kind of infection right so develop into so let me write develops progeny viruses This is a very important point. And another thing <coughs> is that once uh, they develop into the progeny viruses, they need to be released outside, right? 
to infect uh, other cells. So for that reason, uh, the release can be of two types. We have already discussed about that. One is uh, the release via cell lysis or cell killing or host cell killing. Another one is process via the membrane budding. Now in this case, the virus comes out via membrane budding. So this is another important point. So viruses, viruses come come out via membrane budding membrane budding membrane of the host cell actually membrane budding process okay so in this case uh, so so once the virus will go and move what it will do is that they are, are kind of pinch through this membrane inside where we are having our virus particle and then they will come outside so after come after bringing it outside, we'll get something like this: particles outside and membrane outside, like that. So that's how the virus particles can be released. Now in this case, they are not destroying the host cell. So in this case, no. Sorry, let me change the color. No host cell. Killing. So no killing in this case. No host cell destruction in this case. No killing. Right? Now the third kind of process of viral infection or the fate of the cell can be. And this process is termed as, this is uh, called the latent kind of infection. Right? So latent viral infection. Latent viral infection. In this kind of latent viral infection, it is uh, pretty common for the retroviral infection. So let me write, it is common for the retroviral infection. Now for this latent kind, what we know, after entering the, of this virus into the host cell, so if this is the host cell, and let's say these are the host cell genome, these are, sorry, so say these are the host cell, very bad drawing, so let me draw it. These are the host cell genome, for example, and virus particles entered. So let's say this is the virus particle with its own nucleic acid material inside. Now what they will do, they will incorporate their genetic uh, element or their genetic material inside the host cell genetic material. So this host cell and virus genome integration takes place. So in this particular case, viral and host DNA integration takes place. Integration takes place. Okay. Due to this viral DNA integration to the host cell genome, it is a kind of fixed for longer period of time. So in this kind of hybrid condition or this, this kind of fixed integrated condition of uh, the host cell with the viral genome, it can stay for longer period of time. It can stay for say months or years months or years it can stay as it is for months and years right so for many long period of time it remains as it is and after certain time it will develop into it will develop into infection it will develop into progeny virus carrying all the necessary nucleic acid material inside then they can come out right so this infection is kind of latent so, so, so that's why you call it a latent because it's a kind of uh, paused for month or years, right? So, infection like HIV uh, is a type of infection like this latent viral infection. Okay, and finally, when uh, when, when they start to release those progeny viruses outside by budding the cell or killing the cell, uh, it will convert into the disease, right? For example, uh, previously the infection is simple HIV infection then from this hiv infection it will uh, mature and when the virus start to release outside we call it aids or it finally turns into disease that's how the infection can be turned into disease okay and let's talk about the last type of uh, infection caused by viruses and this type of infection is called destructive a viral infection so it is destructive 
viral infection in this kind of destructive viral infection as the term suggests that it is going to kill the host cell right so let me draw the host cell it is the host cell and inside the host cell uh, host cell materials like host cell nucleus and all these things are there but also we are having our virus particles let's say this is the virus particle and the genetic material of the virus particle is always there now what the virus particles are delivering in this case proteins or the viral proteins now using those viral proteins so using those so viral proteins are generated these proteins are kind of uh, destructive destructive proteins so those destructive proteins are generated and they soon mature into many many more progeny viruses many more of the progeny viruses like that many more of this progeny viruses so once they develop into many more of the progeny viruses more progeny viruses are developed so as they develop into many more progeny viruses they will start secreting some a viral protein components which are the host cell destructive materials which will degrade the host cell and finally it will uh, it will accomplish the host cell lysis so as it will accomplish the host cell lysis all these materials will be released outside so what we can find is something like this destruction of the cell like that and all of these viral materials or viral particles will come outside along with their genetic materials so it is not actually it is not only providing the disease or providing or spreading the disease but it is killing the host cell so it actually so let me write it kills host cell that's why it is termed as destructive viral infection now there is a similarity between this destructive viral infection and productive viral infection but again a difference is always there in productive viral infection they are also providing progeny viruses and they are released outside but in case of destructive viral infection they are killing the host cell so host cell death is the fate so final fate of the host cell is the death but in case of the productive no host cell are host cells are killed but in this case host cell killing is associated in the destructive viral infection right or lethal viral infection or we can also call it a lethal viral infection so these are the four types so first is abortive no problem at all second one is a productive viral infection where virus progeny progeny viruses are developed but they are released by providing uh, by budding and it will provide it will it will eventually produce the enveloped viruses and this is true for the enveloped viruses and third kind is the latent viral infection which is in case of retroviral like the hiv infection where the viral genome is integrated with the host genome and it stays as it is for uh, months or even years and then they can uh, and in the later period they can turn back into the infectious fudge and they provide more and more uh, individual uh, viral particles and they will be released and the last kind is a destructive or lethal viral infection in that case the host cells are getting killed by the release of the progeny virus particles due to secretion of some host cell destructive material okay so that's the fate of the cell that's the fate of the host cell infected by the viruses and that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you